everyone, this is Anne-Marie from Alma Surfside Jewelry. Thank you so much for joining me today for another beading tutorial. For those of you who don't know me, I have an Etsy shop where I sell handmade surf and beach inspired jewelry. And the name of my shop is Alma Surfside. And I also have an Instagram account, which is Alma Surfside 7. So be sure to check out both of those links in the description box down below. So in today's beading tutorial, we're gonna be going over a set of earrings. And this is what they look like. So they feature a four millimeter pearl in the center of the design, as well as a Miyuki droplet there at the bottom. Okay, so it's a square shape and it's sort of rounded out at the top and the bottom. And then I think that the little droplet is really cute. If you don't have Miyuki droplets on hand, you could substitute another type of drop uh, glass bead. Um, but the important thing to keep in mind is that the top design is not very big, so you don't want to have, you know, a huge drop bead. Instead, you'll want to have something that's, you know, either a small or medium size. Okay. So in terms of the beading supplies that you'll need for this project, first of all, you'll need fire line, and I always use the crystal color. Okay, this one is six pound or .006. And I always buy the Berkeley brand from Amazon. Okay, there's no need to buy, you know, a, a specific thread from a bead shop. Um, the, the fishing line from Berkeley works just as well. Okay. Okay, so in terms of the beads there that I have on my mat, uh, don't feel overwhelmed by, you know, the number that I have laid out here. If you don't have multiple different colors of all of these beads, that's okay. You can just use one instead of, you know, three size 11s in different colors, right? Um, it's just because I wanted to achieve this color scheme, this watermelon color scheme. So um, that's the only reason why there's so much variety here on my mat. Um, anyways, in the first pile there are size 11 seed beads and these are in Rosa line and they're lined and clear. So they're a light pink color. And by the way, all of the beads that I'll be going over, except for the bugle beads, are from the Toho collection, okay? In the next pile there on my mat are more size 11 seed beads, okay? And these are in hot pink Ceylon. Okay, that's what they look like, very bright. In the third pile there on my mat are 11 O's in white opaque luster, okay? In the fourth pile there are Miyuki Delicas. Okay, so Miyuki brand, these are size 11 Delicas, and the color here is uh, RD Green P Opaque. Okay, so that's what they look like. And in the next pile there on the right hand side are Miyuki Delicas, again in the same size, size 11. And the color of these delicas is silver galvanized, okay? In my size 15 pile here in the center of my mat, on the left hand side are 15 O's in baby pink, and these have an opaque luster finish. Okay, that's what they look like. Next to those on the right are more 15 O's and these are in galvanized silver, okay. On the far right hand side of my mat, I have check number two bugle beads, and these are clear silver lined, okay. So that's what they look like. Down here under four millimeters is my glass pearl, okay, so I can't remember the brand. These might be Preciosa. I can't remember exactly where I bought them from. But again, they're glass pearls, they're round, and they're four millimeters. This is in a nice uh, limey green. And finally, you'll need a drop bead. So whether you use a Miyuki droplet or something else, it's up to you. But make sure that it's in proportion to the size of the small earring, right? So these ones happen to be uh, Miyuki droplets in 3.4 millimeters, and the color is opaque white pearl. Okay, so that's what they look like. 
In addition to all of your beading materials, you'll also need some earring hooks, and I always use stainless steel. Okay, and I've used silver beads, you know, in the design of the earrings, so I've chosen silver stainless steel earring hooks. And for tools, it's helpful to have round nose pliers just to be able to work with the earring hook at the very end of the project. And you'll need scissors to cut your fire line as you work. Okay. Other than that, of course, you'll need a beading needle. So whatever you have on hand will work. But keep in mind that you are working with size 15 seed beads, right? So you don't want anything that's too thick and too difficult to pass through those tiny beads. Okay, so that's it in terms of beading supplies. So go ahead and gather all of your materials and let's get started. Okay, so to get started on my earring design, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my four millimeter pearl. And this one is in green. Okay, so I'm gonna push that down on my needle all the way down on my thread. And I only really need about an inch, inch and a half of a tail, just because we're gonna tie it off in the process, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and pick up a size 11 seed bead in hot pink, this one here. And you're gonna go down the hole of the pearl, okay? So go straight down and pull on your thread. So that's just gonna attach one of the uh, seed beads to one side of our pearl. And then you're gonna go ahead and pick up another size 11 in hot pink. And you're gonna go up the pearl. Okay, so go through this hole here, straight up, and pull on your thread. Okay, make sure that everything is nice and tight. And at this point, I want you to go ahead and pick up one of your white seat beads in size 11, your check number two bugle bead in silver, and another white seed bead in size 11. Okay, so you should have three beads there on your needle. And right now I'm coming out of the top part of my pearl. See there on the right hand side. And I'm gonna go through the opposite side of the pearl. So I'm gonna go from below up, just like that. Okay, and pull on your needle. Okay, so you should have two white beads there on the side of your pearl as well as a bugle bead. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and pick up another white seed bead, the check number two bugle bead, and another white seed bead in size 11. Okay, so the same beads that we had on there before and go through the opposite side of the pearl. Okay, so in this case, I'm going from the top downwards and pull on your thread. There we go. Okay, so that's the basic shape that we're going to be working with, okay, for the earring. And you can go through the very next seed bead, which is the pink one. It's sitting there in the center. And now I want you to pick up one of your size 15 seed beads in pink, a size 11 seed bead in light pink, and another si size 15 seed bead in baby pink. Okay, so you should have three beads there on your needle, and you can go through the opposite side of the bead that you're exiting. There we go. Okay. And now you're gonna continue through the white bead. Okay, so that's the shape that we have so far. Pick up one of your size 11 Miyuki Delicas in silver and go down the bugle bead there on the right hand side of your shape, right there, okay? So that just fills in the gap there on the corner of your earring you're gonna go ahead and pick up another size 11 Muki Delica, okay, in silver, and you're gonna go through the next two beads. Okay, so that fills in the gap on one side. And now that both of our threads are there together, 
at the same point. We're going to tie them together and then get rid of the excess thread. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of knots. Make sure that everything is nice and tight. So go overhand, go underhand, do it a few times just to make sure that nothing's going to fall apart. There we go. And once you're happy with all of the knots that you've done, you can cut off this tiny little piece of thread, the one that we started off with as a tail, right? So the one that's like an inch or an inch and a half. So you can go ahead and get your scissors and try to cut as closely as you can to your earring. Okay, we'll get rid of that little piece and put it to the side. Okay, so now that we're going through the right hand side of our pink bead, we're going to go ahead and pick up a size 15 in baby pink, a size 11 in light pink, and another size 15 in baby pink. There we go. So three beads there on my needle. And I'm going to go through the opposite side of the bead that I'm exiting. Okay, so the hot pink one. There we go. Okay, so that's how far we've come with our earring shape. And we want to go through the next white bead, the size 11. Okay, and now you can go ahead and pick up another Miyuki Delica in size 11 and go down the bugle bead there on the right hand side of your shape. Okay, pick up another Miyuki Delica and you can carry on through the first two beads. Okay, so now that I'm exiting the hot pink size 11 seed bead there in the center of my design, I'm going to step up by going through the size 15 right above it. Okay, I'm going to go through the size 11 there in the center. And at this point I can create the closure for the earring, okay? So to do the closure, I'm going to pick up a total of five size 15 seed beads in silver. So I have five there on my needle and I'm going to go through the opposite side of the seed bead that I'm exiting. Okay, so that just creates a little loop closure for the top of my earring. And then to reinforce that, I can just go through all of the beads that I added on. There we go. And if I want to reinforce that one more time just to make it stronger, it's a good idea to, to repeat that step, okay? So go through all of the beads one more time if you want to make the circle stand up straight. There we go. Okay, so I'll just take my needle and kind of adjust that and pull tight. Okay, so that's our circle there at the top. And now what I'm going to do is go through the next size 15, the baby pink bead below. Okay, so that's where you want to be exiting right now is the 15. And I'm going to pick up a green pea Miyuki Delica in size 11, just one of them. And I'm going to go through the next Miyuki Delica in silver, this one here and pull tight. Okay, so that just filled in the gap on one side of the earring. And I'm going to carry on through the bugle bead and the next silver delica. And now I'm going to pick up a green pea delica. And I'm going to go up the baby pink size 15 there on the right hand side of my earring. Okay go through the size 11 seed bead right next to it and you can pick up one Miyuki Delica in silver 
pick up your Miyuki Droplet, okay, and your other Miyuki Delica. And if you don't have a Miyuki Droplet, of course you could use another drop bead. Okay, so anyways, we're going to go through the opposite side of the bead that we're exiting, the size 11, and pull on our thread. So the Miyuki Droplet, the hole for that one is really big, so it's a good idea to go through this a number of times just to stiffen it because otherwise it'll be uh, a little bit shaky there at the bottom of your earring. So you can go through it, you know, three, four times. So I'm just going through all of the beads here that I added on. I'll do it three times. There we go. Okay, so now, yeah, now it's more stationary there. So I can carry on and go through the next size 15 seed bead, which is this one below. Okay, it's the baby pink 15. And there's an empty gap, so I'm going to pick up a green pea delica. And I'm going to go through the silver delica. Right over there. Okay, and now there's only one empty gap left, which is there at the top. So I'm going to go through my bugle bead. And I'm going to go through the silver delica. Pick up another green pea delica. Right there. And go through the baby pink size 15 seed bead on the right hand side. Okay, so my earring is done. I finished all of the different steps. Okay, so a super fast project that you can do, you know, very quickly and easily. And the last thing that you'll have to do is create a knot. So I can go on the inside of my shape with my needle, which creates a circle. And then I can put my needle through that circle and pull tight. Okay, so I've done one knot up here. And I'm going to carry on through the size 11 seed bead. And I'll carry on through the size 15 as well. And now I can create another knot here on this side. There we go. Okay, so I've done two really good knots and I'm happy that the piece is secure. So I can go ahead and get my scissors and cut off the extra thread here. And so we're done that earring and of course you just have to do one more. Okay, but I thought I would walk you through all of the steps here on camera for at least one of them. Okay, so the last step that you have to do to finish off your earring is to take one of your earring hooks and your round nose pliers and just pry open, you know, the circle there at the bottom of your earring hook. And you can insert that through the closure that we've created together. There we go. Okay, so it's now attached. And then I'll take my round nose pliers and close it up. Okay, so now that it's closed, it's secure. Okay, so that's one of the earrings there. And we'll do the same thing for our other earring. So open it up. Insert it through the circle. Okay, get your round nose pliers and close it up. There we go. Okay, so that's nice and tight. So that is our finished project there. Okay, so we have one here and another there. Okay, so that's our finished set of earrings that features a four millimeter pearl and a Miyuki droplet there at the bottom. Uh, super fast, super easy to do, and I love the color combination. It's basically a watermelon color. Um, except for black. I didn't include black in this piece, but actually that would look really great if you did include black. 
Um, so yeah, I think that they're very dainty and sophisticated. And I think it makes for a very easy Christmas gift. So, you know, it would be a cute stocking stuffer for somebody. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed making these with me today. And if you haven't already done so, please take a minute to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I have a number of videos posted now, so you should be able to find a project of interest. And also don't forget, if you need any supplies at all, I include links to Amazon in the description box. So I am an, an Amazon affiliate, which means that I do make a small commission anytime that you do buy through one of my links. Um, so that's a nice way to support the channel. And I also have the thanks button as well. If you wanted to don donate um, a small amount, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so anyways, thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.